hello. Today I'm gonna do a makeup look specifically for dark brown eyes. I don't know if you can tell, but I just put a dark brown contact in. And it looks pretty legit, okay? Uh, I'm gonna put the other one in. These are the um, Black Coffee contacts from Desio. Throwback. I used to use Desio all the time, so if anyone is looking for good color contacts, these are my fave. Uh, I just stopped. I couldn't wear them for a year after I got my laser eye surgery. Um, but I've been wanting to do this tutorial for a really long time. So I'm gonna pop in the other one. My eyes are already like kind of dark, so it doesn't look like so crazy, but it's like very weird to see dark brown. Wow, I haven't worn contacts in a really long time. This is weird. <laughs> he he he. Okay. So uh, there are a few different colors that we might want to bring out in our eyes. It's gonna depend on what you're looking for. So if you're trying to bring out more red, warm, orangey, tones. Uh, if you're going more towards red on the color wheel, then you're going to want to stick to colors that are more like green toned. This is kind of like a, what is this called actually? Zulu. Uh, like a turquoisey, you know, turquoisey, slightly more green tone is going to bring out more of those red tones in your eyes. Uh, if you're looking for like more orangey, obviously like a little bit more towards blue. This is a little bit more of like a periwinkle kind of blue. So it's going a little bit more cool toned. A little bit like slightly more towards a purple, purpley kind of color, okay, lavender or lilac kind of color, that is going to bring out more of the yellowy gold tones in the eyes, okay? So it depends on like, are you going from green, blue, purple, somewhere in that range? Are you going red, orange, yellow? Depends on like what colors you wanna bring out the most. Personally, I think contrast is really beautiful. So because dark eyes, dark brown eyes are so dark, uh, I think that keeping things light, you know, is going to create like a really beautiful like contrast pop to the eye. However, it's going to just depend very much on your coloring. So if you have very, very deep skin, obviously I'm extremely fair skinned. So if you have um, deep skin, using a chalky, like really, really light periwinkle blue is going to look ashy, strange on your skin tone. You can go light, but it's going to depend very much on the base that you're using. Uh, if you're using something that has a very like chalky base, it's gonna look chalky on your skin, or if it's just way too light. So keep your skin tone in mind. Keep the value of the, the colors that you're using in mind. Um, if you're someone who you know has medi medium deep skin, and um, you have dark brown eyes and black hair and black eyebrows and black eyelashes, your coloring might feel, to you, it might feel like too much contrast to go more light. Uh, so more mid-toned or darker even is going to work. You can still do it. You might wanna incorporate some reflects uh, so that you have a little bit more dimension and it doesn't end up like overwhelming the uh, dark brown iris. So let's get into it. So I've already primed my lids with a little bit of um, Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm actually just gonna pop a little bit more. Can you focus on my eyes and not my nose, please? So personally for me, I think I wanna bring out a little bit more of the gold tones in my eye. So I'm going to focus more so towards like a peri periwinkle purple, cause I'm thinking more orangey, more um, golden colors that I want to bring out in my eyes. I'm actually gonna start out in my waterline because I personally think that like rimming the eye is, it's just like, it makes your iris pop. Even if you wanna do like a very neutral, you know, eye look because color is like overwhelming to you, just putting in your waterline a colorful pop that offsets your eye color um, and is going to complement like whatever tones you wanna to bring out more, it, it makes such a massive impact. So that's like one of my favorite ways to start. I hear from a lot of people that they have a very like sensitive waterline. If you can't put it in your waterline, consider just lining the bottom, like keeping this as um, like a pop of color on the bottom lash line and then doing the rest of your makeup the way you usually do, whether it's just like a wing or like your typical smoky eye, uh, just any kind of like pop of color that is going to complement the colors in your eye, it's gonna get the job done. It's gonna make a massive impact no matter how little it is, okay? So my favorite color is um, ColourPop Cream Gel Liners. This is Prance. I don't know if Prance is still available. Sometimes ColourPop has like colors come in and out. Sometimes they have it be like a part of their core collection. Their, their eyeliners are some of my absolute favorites. They have every single color. The formula is so creamy and nice. Like I find it doesn't irritate my eyes at all. Um, so I'm just going to yell at my camera for focusing on my nose. I know that that nose highlight is so cute, but I'm gonna 
place this all in my water line. And my favorite trick so that you can really like see that color is to just kind of like, once I have it in the actual water line, you can see like the payoff of this is so nice. I'll just take that eyeliner and angle it a little bit so that I'm going just over that line so there's no gaps when I go in with whatever eyeshadow. And it just makes some, um, it makes the uh, waterline color even more impactful. So already we just have like such a beautiful contrast between the bright pop of this eyeliner and the dark iris. Don't forget that you can customize any of these. So like omit any steps that you don't want to include or that is uncomfortable for you to wear. I'm gonna be showing you how to do the most today. It's so pretty, I love that already. There's, I, for some, I don't, I don't even care what color your eyes are. There's something about a pop of blue on the eyes that just like, I don't know, just. I'm gonna bleep that. <laughs> so for my eyes, I'm gonna be using this um, palette. You can use any palette. Okay, it doesn't matter. If you can find these colors in some palette, uh, then whatever palette you prefer. But I just recently received this Dolce & Gabbana palette in the mail and it's perfect. Like I literally opened it yesterday and I was like, this is perfection. This is exactly what I need. Um, so obviously I'm gonna be using this beautiful blue tone. I'm gonna probably be mixing in with these pinks to create a custom color. Uh, and then we might go into a little bit of um, reflect on the lid. So this is the I Dare You palette, multi-finish eye and cheek palette. Oh, interesting. Uh, we're just gonna put it on our, face, on our eyes. So I'm gonna start off with my Refer 14 brush, this little um, blender right here. Just really quickly, um, just since we're talking about it, Refer is having their uh, concept store sale. So I don't know how long it's gonna be going on, but um, if I get any like updated info, I'll put it in the link down below, link in the description. Um, but basically what happens is they put all of their brushes, every single brush, for a discounted price in their concept store. You can get it at a discounted price in exchange for feedback. So all they're looking for essentially is for you to test it out and then let them know like what you would change, what you like about it, that kind of stuff. It's pretty dope. Um, it's one of the things that I love about Refer. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. There's a link below if you're interested. So 14 brush, what I'm gonna do to begin is tap between pink and blue, back and forth between these two colors to create a custom color because I can never just use whatever is in front of me. I have to mix it. I'm gonna place this right above where my skin naturally folds. I'm gonna push this area back in space. A lot of the time when I'm doing my eyeshadow looks, I, I like to ground, um, I like to ground it with like a contour color, something that like a color that I used on my face, you know, contour, bronzer, blush, whatever it might be. I'm going straight, I want this to be nice and bright, nice and colorful to really offset the colors in my eye. So I'm gonna slowly bring it down here So we're creating this nice cat eye shape, classic, okay? Beautiful, personally I think it's flattering on everybody. Okay, I'm gonna take that same mixture. I'm gonna go from the outer corner of the eye and meet that crease. So obviously any shape, you can make any shape you want whatever you find to be most flattering for your eye shape. The most important thing is going to be the colors that you choose. And keep in mind your skin tone, you know, because if you're someone who looks better in more muted colors, then that's what you're gonna to wanna to focus on. And if you're someone who looks better in brighter colors, then obviously that's what you wanna focus on. Or like I said, if you're more comfortable in deeper jewel toned colors, it's just about which color you choose. The value of the color is totally up to you, meaning how dark it is. How dark, how light is going to depend on like what your preference is, your skin tone, your hair color, all of that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna grab my Refer 28 brush, this little guy, and I'm gonna pick up this um, 
purple, like a lilac color. A little bit more on the pink side. So I'm gonna place this along my lower lash line underneath that blue. So just under the blue and then blending down lightly. This is gonna be my base color for down here. Again, smoke it out as much as you want. This is for your eye shape. So if you wanna keep all of this so much tighter to the lash line, because you know smoking it out looks like, I don't know, makes you look like a raccoon, <laughs> then don't feel like you have to do this. You could just keep it as like the water line and that's it. It's funny how this looks so much pinker on my, um, on my skin. And it looks in the palette. I'm gonna use that same brush. I'm just gonna wipe it off on my Sigma Switch. Which by the way, I think, I think my favorite set with Sigma is sold out. If not, last I heard there were like four left. So, just saying. Now I'm gonna grab that blue, this guy. And right here, right at the outer corner, I'm gonna buff that blue. Connecting it up so it's going to mix with that pink. We're going to create a little bit of purple here So we're just kind of like working within this little color scheme Okay, while creating a little bit of contrast to the eye. I've been dying to do this. I've done so many complexion videos right now I'm so over complexion. Please don't ask me to do another complexion video. <laughs> I Need to do some eyeshadow looks. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna grab that blue also on this little 28 brush and I'm just going to run this. Through all of um, this stuff just in the very center. Because I just kind of want to sharpen it up a little bit. Now this particular blue has is leaning a little bit more towards green. It's a little less periwinkle. And I was kind of hoping to bring out more orangey blue. Orangey, orangey blue, what the fuck are you talking about? I was hoping to bring more orangey um, gold <sighs> out in my eye. So now I'm gonna grab a fluffier brush. This is the Sigma E45 Max brush, and I'm gonna grab that pink. This pink? You saw it, this pink. Bro, focus on the pink, focus on the pink. Thank you, this pink right here. Tapping off my brush, and I'm just gonna gently over the top buff this. Okay, so softening and also layering to create a little bit more of a lilac effect. See how we changed that tone just slightly? So obviously keep, you know, whatever color you want, but you don't have to be afraid of layering. It is just makeup. It washes off. If it starts to get too blown out, I always just say like, if, as long as it's blended, it's going to look amazing. Okay. As long as you blend well, it's going to look good. Now I'm going to grab this super dark purple color from the palette. Hold on. Focus there. No, focus, 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 focus. Now I'm going to grab this color right here from the palette. Not in focus. You are not in focus. I'm going to grab this Sigma E21 brush, this little guy. And I'm going to use this to create a little bit of a wing on the outer corner of the eye. So it'll kind of look black, but it's a little bit softer. So if you have lighter coloring, this might be a little bit more uh, flattering. Another really great option is just to do like a colorful winged liner, which is really nice. So like, again, just like neutral everything, colorful winged liner, just implementing those colors in some way is going to be really beautiful. 
Okay, and then I'm just going to, once I bring it out to the very outer corner, whatever's left on the brush, just adding contrast to that area. Now I'm gonna grab this color, which is amazing. It's such a beautiful, this right here, which like, I don't know how well you can tell on camera or in the palette. It's so beautiful. So I'm gonna use, to apply that, my Sigma E54 brush. I'm gonna pick it up with the brush. I'm gonna tap it off and then I'm gonna spritz it so I don't get a ton of fallout or anything. And I'm gonna pack this all Hello. I'm gonna pack this all in that naked lid. And this, I love this color. This is so beautiful because it contains all the colors we talked about. Okay, so there's like turquoise reflect. We have lavender in there. We have blue, it's so beautiful. So again, if like, if this look overall, if all of this color is just like too overwhelming for you, go in and do a neutral eye and then just use something like this right in the center of the lid or in the inner corner. But if you really wanna make an impact, then combining all of these little, all these little ideas is really gonna do it. Oh, such a beautiful shift, I love that. So gorgeous. It's funny, I to me at least, I don't know how it looks to you, but implementing just that shimmer on the lid brings even more like light to my eyes versus this side, you know, keeping it a little bit more matte. So since I'm using an expensive palette, I'll try to find some alternative palettes that contain the colors that I was talking about, whether you wanna go for more um, green tones, blue tones, or purple tones. Um, I'll try to link some like more affordable options down below. Gorgeous. I love it. All right, I'm just gonna finish off highlighting. I highlighted the rest of my face, so just a little bit under the brow. And I'm just using the highlighter that I used for the rest of my face, which is um, Clio Prism Sheer Gold, or Gold Sheer. All right, I'm gonna curl my lashes with my Refer Lash Curler. I'm gonna apply my um, Hourglass Caution Mascara. And then House of Lashes just came out with these really gorgeous lashes, um, like a whole set of um, like feline, cat eye inspired. I'm gonna go in with Purr. The space between my teeth is getting bigger. I mentioned it in a video a little while ago. I don't like this. I feel like my teeth are so much more crooked than they were. Ooh, those are fun. They're longer than I was expecting. It's crazy how when I look at these in the little like container, they don't look like they're that intense, but then I put them on because I, I never wear lashes anymore, like very rarely. And I'm like, those are a lot. <laughs> like I have to like get used to lashes again. All right guys, so here's the finished look up close. I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Like I think that the contrast between the colors, not just the colors, but just like how light they are. The fact that I didn't make anything too dark. I didn't use like a black eyeliner or anything. Um, just kept everything like very, very soft. It just makes the iris pop and it doesn't look too overwhelming. It doesn't look too heavy, especially because I do have bleach blonde hair. I'm fair skinned. How dark you make it, how much color you incorporate uh, is really gonna depend on your preference and also, you know, your skin tone and your hair color and um, just how comfortable you are going, going in, you know? All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you are someone who has brown, dark brown eyes and you've been feeling like, I don't know, kind of left out as far as like, I don't know, how can, how can you make your eyes pop? It probably feels like it's a lot easier with light eyes to really like make them pop. But I personally think that like, as long as you're creating some kind of contrast or some kind of contrast, whether it's between like the lights and darks or the color itself, 
uh, think complementary colors. It's really going to make like a really beautiful impact. Uh, obviously, I'm just wearing colored contacts, so it's not exactly the same thing, but I hope that this was like a nice, you know, visualization or gave you some ideas. I am planning on doing a, uh, a concealer swatch video coming up soon. I know I did my foundations. I'm planning on doing concealers. I'm just like so tapped out on the complexion stuff. So expect some more like creative, fun, playful videos coming up. Um, and uh, as always, let me know what you want to see because, I mean, I want to make what you want to see, I guess. Duh. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and comment and blah, blah, blah. And I will see you soon.